Hi there and welcome to Protopilot. My name is Darren and in this video I'm just going to take you through a quick tour of the new timeline updates as of Protopi 5.4. Okay so I've got this very basic prototype set up with these four cards and what I want to do is I want to animate them onto the screen but I want to animate them in, in a kind of choreographed way. So I'm going to use the new timeline features to do this. So I've currently got my cards already sitting at the end position. So this is like the zero, the zero position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, going to just pull out my triggers panel. And if I just select one of these cards here, you'll see, um, I'm just going to add a trigger here. I'm just going to add a start trigger so that we can use that to, to choreograph our animation. And as soon as I add a start trigger, you can see we've now got this timeline, these measurements, these new measurements on the timeline. So a little bit more detail here. And I'm just going to go through and I'm just going to add some move responses. So for each card, so I'm just going to add those through. So card one, card two, card three and card four. Okay, so it's going to come to the first move trigger here and I'm just going to set it to the same the same value. So this is going to be zero, 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 zero. And then card two is going to be zero, one, three, four, zero. And you can see here that um, it's telling me what the value currently is, which is quite useful. And that's a new feature as well. So I can come here and I can just add zero and I can add 268. And then finally I can add zero and I can add 402. Okay, so we've got our starting move positions. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take all of my cards and I'm just going to move them off screen somewhere over here. Okay, let's come back to our timeline and have a look at what we've got here. So you can see here that there's there's already some visual redesign. So I've got this this block of this this kind of keyframe block. Um, I don't know what Protopi are calling it. That's what I'm calling it, a keyframe block because there's no specific keyframes. Um, and we've got these two lines either side. So I can hover over these lines and drag them so I can change the duration of my of my keyframe block just by dragging these lines. And you can see as I do that, I'm getting these values. So these values are just showing me the values that we normally have. So the duration and the delay here. So I can see I've got my delay on the left hand side and I've got my overall duration on the right hand side. So that's basically 013 and 052 added together, giving me an overall duration of 0 0.65. And as I actually change the size, you can see there's a little blue value and that's the actual duration. So you can see that that matches my duration over in the panel on the right hand side. Okay, so I'm just going to give this a duration of, I don't know, 0.4. And let's just move this to something like one. And now I can just basically just play around my animation and I can just do this all a lot more easily than previously inside of this timeline feature. So I'm just going to stagger it, stagger my animation off. Okay, so let's come over to our preview window. We're just going to run that. Okay, so you can see I've got my staggered animation happening. So something else that you can do is you can't actually select shift select at the moment the objects in the timeline but you can shift select them inside of the trigger panel so i can do a shift select on all my responses in the trigger panel so now i've highlighted all of them together now i can change the duration from any one of the time of the um of the keyframe blocks uh, i've got to remember the name that i gave it there and i can now when I do that, I change all of them together so I can make my animation slower or faster and I can do it all here. And it's also relative as well. So if I change one of these to a different distance and then I select them all and again, I can pull from any one and it will keep all of the durations relative 
to the initial values. And we can just run that and see what crazy animation we've got here. There you go. Okay, so this about wraps up a quick look at the new timeline features inside of Protopie 5.4. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a like. And if you want to see more of these videos, then please subscribe to the channel. So have a good day and I'll see you next time.